Hello guys, behind me is a three wheel stand up rider. What I'm going to do with this is to replace the hydraulic pump motor that's making loud noise. Come follow me. Yeah, here is the hydraulic pump motor that I'm going to replace. As you can see, there's a lot of parts that's blocking it because I'm going to pull it out going forward. Now, I, what I got to do is to remove all these power cables connected to the motor and this hydraulic line. And at the same time, I'm going to disconnect the hydraulic pump, the hose, the hoses, disconnect all the hoses, and then unbolt the drive motor. Okay, let's start doing it. Okay guys, I got the hoses on this end taken off and also the fitting for these hydraulic lines, the high pressure lines. Now I'm going to the other side to loosen up the, the nut for the lift hose. Okay, I got it off. Now the next thing is to loosen up the bulkhead fitting. Oops. Oh. I need a an absorbent pads. Okay. All right, I got this thing taken care of. Hose on the side, right? And there's still room. Okay, I'm gonna use a cross foot wrench. To fit in this because this uh, wrench have no room to swing around. All right. Okay, I got it by hand. I can turn it by hand now. Guys, I'm still unbolting it. Unbolting. Okay, now I got it off. I'm gonna put this away. Okay, leave the thing in there. And now the next part is to remove this power line. Power line. All right, I'm going to loosen up the nut, this power cables. 
Oh, I'll just bust them. And now the negative side. Okay. Alright. I will also remove the negative cable from the battery. And remember guys, before doing anything, you got to disconnect the battery first. Here, disconnect the battery. Now I'm going to remove the hose clamp. a little bit tight Guys, I'm going to disconnect these three cables because it's on my way. So Get the nuts, the bolts loose. Remove the bolts one at a time. Okay. Let's do this again. Much better. Okay, I get the hose clamp loose. Now I'm gonna pull out the hose. Okay. There's a bit of oil coming out. And we are going to collect those oil by means of the absorbing pads. Now the next step to do is to disconnect the sensor wires. Okay. 
I'm gonna clean it first before removing it. Okay, now it's clean. I'm going to dis disconnect it now by pressing this tab on the side and pull it out. There you go. So next step is unbolt the hydraulic pump. Is the pump. Using 6 mm Allen socket, I'm gonna remove this mounting bolt. There are two mounting bolts one here and one over there. Okay, next the bottom side. Okay, I get it loose. I'm gonna remove the bolt all the way out. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna use the power ratchet, which is this one. Okay, I got the power ratchet with an extension with a swivel end. Now I'm going to connect the connect the Allen socket into it. Just press it in. Next is the bottom side. Okay, now that I got the mounting bolts off. I'm gonna pull out the mounting bolts all the way out. Something's catching up. Okay, now I can pull out the hydraulic pump. Okay guys, I have the pump out, disconnected from the motor. And let's go, follow me at the second chapter. <laughs> 